dragon I bring sky fire vision through a heart brave enough to lie Hello everyone and welcome to another magical day in the miracle. My name is Joel for another sharing of the way of compassionate autonomy. We're so happy to be here, myself and the galactic beings at the UFO Dragon Portal at Roots to Crown in St. Petersburg, Florida. So grateful for all the wonderful love and care and uh, unity and freedom in this community. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you to all. So this is Kin 61, Red Solar Dragon. And um, we're going to begin with our prayer and oath of unity and freedom. My life is my precious gift to experience the grace of God that is eternal mercy and redemption for all. With humility, forgiveness, compassion, and gratitude, I live fully aligned with the will of God that is perfect love, happily balanced and whole in peace and harmony with loving kindness from my heart. All I receive and all I give is from mutual empowerment, interdependence, and selflessness for the betterment of all in heaven on earth and in all realms. All thanks, all praise, all glory to God, the one love. I am safe. Here are the protective mudras, the cross. I am free. There is the infinite eagle. I am loved, the heart of love, and I am happy, the flower of happiness, and unity, and freedom, the two keys. Speaking of the two keys, we will read from our beloved Bible. It is Matthew chapter 16, 18 to 20. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind, which is unity, on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose, which is freedom, on earth shall be loosed in heaven, then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. Thank you, God. So, of course, that last part is because we believe. And when I say we, it's myself and the galactic beings that are being channeled through me by God's grace, the ETS of UFO. The message is that all beings have the light of Christ, and it's nameless. It is, in this case, the light of everlasting happiness. It pulses in love. Uh, through the two keys of unity and freedom, which is, which are, I am safe, that's unity, I am free, that's freedom. The pulse is love, and the result is I'm happy. And this is also the, the eternal state of the mind of God is happy. Um, the, that, the process of that pulsing of the state of being of happiness is love, which is the infinite pulse of safety and freedom. And then the overall output, the collective output is harmony. So, thank you, God. And of course, we come in the name of unityfreedom.org, so you can visit us there. If any of this is new to you, please visit in the description the original series of The Way of Compassionate Autonomy to learn where that message came from. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, just a little word about this being uh, Kin 61, which is the Red Solar Dragon. In, in 2021, when this dragon first started to come through, basically it was at this same wave spell, and it was uh, Kin 60, which is the galactic sun, and, and Kin 61, which was the first embedding of this telepathic message that was turned out to be a tattoo, which is the sun ray tattoo. And it is the serpent merged with the eagle, because um, myself, I'm the Ele Kin 185 electric serpent. So this message was shown to me, and uh, my friend Matthew Kritika and myself collaborated together to co-create the telepathic vision of the what turned out to be the sun ray, and I'll flash it up there. But it's basically the serpent merged with the eagle, and uh, and the sun, and then the Excalibur sword of truth and throughout that process of embedding the codes of the calendar, it all was just shown that it had to be done that way to myself by the, from the beings. And I was called to share this on this day of the red solar dragon, because in essence, the serpent and the eagle created the dragon that 
held the fire of happiness, and that is the universal fire, the sun of enlightenment, and according to the calendar, of course. Each feather has all the 20 seals embedded into it, and that was vocally spoken into each seal, as well as the 13 tail feathers have each tone. It wasn't my choice to do any of that stuff. It was more like, again, we talk about following the orders. In this case, it's the orders of the UFO. It's like the voice of the beehive, and that's just life itself. It's God and all the beings communicating through us to exist in harmony. So ultimately that experience of having those codes embedded, we started channeling the song that came from the heart of Mother Earth, turned out to the name of it, which wasn't even conscious to myself that Serpent and the Eagle at that point were creating a dragon, so to speak. But um, the song started coming through and it turned out to be called Arming the Dragon. There is a video with the whole song in there. That's that song that is on the intro and outro of this video here. And then my friend Matthew was being shown the rainbow dragon alongside of us sharing that song out in community as Enter the Sun. And so he began creating this mural here at Roots to Crown by God's grace. I was by God's grace uh, here with him helping him we spent a few days working this mural and you know it just goes to show like all the the people going coming together from all different walks of life and all the different messages that we all have a part of and a piece of a lot of times we can have the ego get in the way like i'm responsible for this i'm the creator of this i own this and that's not the message that i've gotten it's it's more of we're all like the song children of love we all have pieces of the puzzle you know, we're bees of the beehive following that voice of the beehive. And so as this mural was co-created and all the people that came through to help create this place, at this point, the name of the person who is managing this place at Roots to Crown goes by the name Seva, which is selflessness. So it truly is a work of selflessness. And this is the way that unityfreedom.org to me, again, I always say this doesn't come from me, it comes through me. If it was up to me, again, I've said, I wouldn't even really want to share any of this stuff. It's more like I get the commandments to do it and I share it for the betterment of all. And I just hope that if it can at least help one person and the more the merrier, the better. It was actually shown to me that I had to come at a particular day to seal this with this, I am safe, I'm free, I'm loved, I'm happy. And all that stuff was just a process of 51 years in this incarnation, resisting and fighting, and then finally surrendering. And it's not easy to surrender to something greater than ourselves. But uh, I will say that the more I've surrendered, the happier I have become. And it's been a hard process of the death of the ego, going through that death of selfishness. So anyway, this portal, again, is an external reflection of what's internal. And we all have the portal within us. We are all a portal. We are all a portal of happiness, love, and harmony. We're all a real gem portal. This particular portal was coming through, and it, again, it's, it's just following the guidances and orders. And that number of 13 petals came through Matthew, and it was shown to me afterwards why it was 13. And that is because it's a 1320 galactivation portal to bring the awareness to the 1320 synchronization. And prior to that, and ever since, I've just been doing my part to be able to share this information to help us experience individual happiness and collective harmony. So thank you, God. So thank you for letting me share that. To get to our Kin 61, which again is Red Solar Dragon, the power, action, and essence of the solar tone are pulse, realize, and intention. The power, action, and essence of dragon are birth, nurture, and being. So put them all together, and it is I pulse in order to nurture, realizing being. I seal the input of birth with the solar tone of intention. I'm guided by the power of navigation. Navigation, of course, brings us to the earth. That is the evolution of synchronicity. That's the guide for today. And it is four seals back because it's the solar tone. And our analog or natural way of being is the mirror, which is a reflection and meditation 
the endlessness of order. The occult or hidden power is the sun, of course, the fire of the sun, the universal fire of enlightenment, everlasting happiness. And then the challenge is the monkey, the 11th seal. And that is the antipode, that is magic, play, and illusion. Again, when we talk about the universal fire of happiness, in this instance, it is through the lens of the UFO, which is unity, freedom, oneness. Um, and the protective orb or portal that is birthed from within us is in this instance called the real gem infinite portal. Real is radiant embodied activation light. Gem is galactic earth M to the infinite, which in this case, it's a message. It can be the miracle, the magic, the medicine, the manifestation, the model, the moment. Here in this eternal moment of everlasting happiness, we are that portal. And the portal, of course, is the protective orb of release from acquired conditioning, transformation, alignment to harmony and liberation into ETS of UFO, which is enter the sun of unity, freedom, oneness. That is the everlasting light of happiness, love, and harmony. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, of course, we are on the, the ninth tone of the fifth wave spell. And this wave spell is the Skywalker. And it's all about space exploration, wakefulness. Again, the ninth tone. We are an informing day, which is a dragon day. It is the first time cell. And the harmonic is 16. So beginning now and for the next four days, we will experience this crystal input harmonic, and it is harmonic 16, crystal input, inform flowering of cooperation. Inform, again, is because it's that first time cell of, of the input. Flowering is because in four days, the power of the seed is flowering. And then the essence of crystal is cooperation, so we are receiving information basically that in, are informing the flowering or the becoming of cooperation, which is of course harmony. Harmony is itself cooperation. So today's codon, which is, are the galactic codons, is practice. Conduct treads the way and the I Ching is treading. So we of course are going to use our I Ching and basically go over this through the lens of the UFO with the I Ching. You can get any copy you desire, but we like to read through this and give a practical application of how we can exist in harmony, because that's truly the point, is to find individual happiness, to interconnect with each other through the pulse of love, and then experience the output of harmony, which essentially is existing in heaven on earth and in all realms. So thank you, God. And again, all this information doesn't come from me, it comes through me. And I'm just grateful to be able to share it for the betterment of all. It's been a long time since I've been on this path. And if I can help at least one person, you know, I've done my job. And then you just surrender to the outcome and allow all beings to find their own version of happiness, find their own version of harmony, and be happy and be free and be liberated from within the matrix. So on to our I Ching. And this basically the overall message of this I Ching is treading. It's just being careful as you are exploring being in harmony, as you are exploring that information flowering of cooperation, which again is the crystal input. After we finish this, we'll kind of go back to the affirmation to see how it applies for today. So we're going to read some of the beginning uh, explanation of treading. And then the first two lines of the six-line hexagram. And, of course, the treading is heaven above and lake below, which is joyous. In the galactic calendar, that is heaven or time above and ocean or joy below. So, treading. Even when they tread on a tiger's tail, it doesn't bite people. This is developmental. Explanation. Treading means forward progress. As the qualities of the hexagram, above is heaven, or strong, and below is lake, joyous. Yin rejoicing in yang. With the advance of one yin, the hexagram will change into pure yang. Representing this, it is therefore called treading. This hexagram symbolizes progression of yang and prevention of danger. 
So a lot of times this danger and false yin and false yang, they also often talk about flexibility and firmness. And I just want to reiterate that the firmness is akin to the structure of unity. The flexibility is akin to freedom. That structure is safety. That flexibility is freedom. So when looked through the false perception of fear, that firmness can be imprisonment. And the false perception of fear, that flexibility can be chaos. It can be ultimate abandonment. So again, through the UFO, we can practically apply safety and freedom as trying to work in interdependently with ourselves and others to create that bridge of love. And then you would theoretically have a bunch of individual happy beings existing in harmony through the action of love. Okay? So, again, this hexagram symbolizes progression of yang and prevention of danger, which is disharmony. And so it follows on the preceding hexagram accord, which when the I Ching talks about follows, it's two hexagrams prior to what's listed numerically in here. So that would be hexagram eight. In accord, yin follows yang. But if you want yin to follow, it is necessary first to advance yang. When the progression of yang reaches proper balance, yin naturally follows it. This is the appropriate priority of the path of advancing yang. The true young in people is inherent and need not be sought from another. So these concepts also overlap with each other in that infinite pulse. And the more you learn from the I Ching, the more you will learn that yin and yang are the same thing. Same as unity and freedom. There comes a point in that pulse where the unity and freedom are the same thing. Unity and safety is freedom and freedom is safety. In the I Ching, it's called convergence of yin. In the UFO, that's the unity, freedom, oneness. There is no separation, but we're talking about as we separate that wholeness that is beyond comprehension into duality and try to give our way or give our human mind a way to arrive back at that eternal state of everlasting happiness, which is, again, inexplicable. That is the yin-yang, the yin convergence, that would be the unity, freedom, oneness. So they also talk about true yang in the I Ching, which basically is the original primordial way of being, which is that unity, freedom, oneness. It is also the yin convergence. That could also be called true yang. That is just the primordial mind of the Tao. And it's free of the human acquired conditioning. It's free of the illusion of fear. Again, the illusion of fear is through the perception of imprisonment and abandonment. True young in people is inherent and need not be sought from another. So that inherent happiness, that inherent knowing of how to proceed with love, that inherent knowing of being in natural harmony with all beings and, and all it is, that is inherent in all beings. When it mixes with acquired conditioning or fear, True feeling is obscured and arbitrary feelings rise. True yang runs away outside, so we lose that essence of our true whole self. And at that point, we are you could consider us a hollow black hole of fear because we've been conditioned. This is likened to a tiger running off and staying elsewhere as a member of another house. So that's basically we lost our essence and our memory of that true yang. And again, tiger is often related to yin, but again, they go back and forth. This is likened to a tiger running off, our essence running off and staying elsewhere as a member of another house. Though it is in another house, originally the tiger is one's own. It is just that people are not willing to call it back. So oftentimes we are succumbed to the external matrix. We are succumbed to the acquired conditioning. We live in fear and we're afraid to be our truth, we've forgotten what it's like to exist in harmony or how to be in harmony. So we're going to go from there and go into the first two lines. First yang, treading plainly, going without fault. So this is the bottom first yang, solid line. Those with strength of mind and robust energy who are plain and sincere in treading the path are able to tread it with confidence in their steps. If they proceed in this way, they will surely progress to where there is no fault. 
This is treading with firmness of purpose. This is being your truth in a confident way once you have achieved or you're at least conceptually going from concept realization to embodiment of the light of everlasting happiness. Having inner purpose that is aligned with the greater good of all beings. Um, you're working from that place of selflessness or working toward it. Because we're all constantly always evolving and we're all doing our best. So as you keep progressing or treading, this would be a moment of having the confidence of knowing that it's your time to make a move. That would be strength of mind, clarity of mind, and robust energy. That's vigorous energy. So this is putting that energy outward, but also being careful all the time. You never want to be too extreme, right? You always have to balance firmness with flexibility. And the most important thing, plain, honest, sincere. Those are so important to not be hiding anything, to be sincere of heart, to be plainly who you are, but also to be seeking harmony. That will allow you to exist as your truth in the most gentle and harmonious way possible. It's a tricky journey and everyone's doing the best they can. But seeking harmony as you express your truth is of utmost importance to ease the suffering of yourself. If you're just wantonly or arbitrarily or just don't care about your external environment and you express your truth all the time, oftentimes that's going to be a painful uh, outcome or a disharmonious outcome. And trust me, I experienced countless instances of that. So even if you have experienced that, those harsh experiences of learning how to express your truth, the best I can say is as you keep regrouping, don't give up. Know that it's all part of your journey. You're doing the best you can. And then seek inward happiness, seek inward um, action of safety and freedom, love, and inward harmony, and then act outward harmoniously through the action of safety and freedom. To young, treading the path evenly, the aloof person is upright and fortunate. With happiness and balance, there is naturally true joy and one is not attracted to artificial enjoyment. So this is not seeking artificial enjoyment in the external, so to speak, but acting from that true place of inner happiness, love, and harmony. That's just your natural way of being. No external things can move one, so one therefore treads the path evenly. As you progress, you will be, at least this is my experience, and I'm just sharing because they want me to share it. My experience is, is, is that over time the path gets more gentle and that you will actually be able to be um, in a state of everlasting happiness or interconnected with all that is, seeing things like you're between worlds, between dimensions, being in endless dimensions and places of complex harmonics where you're receiving information while your body is just kind of going through harmonious motions here in perfect harmony, kind of like on autopilot. But you are existing true to yourself, true to your most inner sense of truth. Never false, never lying, never being deceitful, but always allowed, so to speak, to navigate harmoniously. And again, most of my life was not that. It was fighting and kicking and screaming and scratching and being beaten and imprisoned and abandoned repeatedly. All kinds of horrible things and deaths and stuff like that as my journey here. And by God's grace, they're allowing me to exist in a more gentle experience. And they say it's to share, to give the light of hope to others that they can, no matter what you're going through, no suicide, no killing always act non-violently toward self and others, right? As you are continuing to express what is true to you. Treading that is even without greed, without craving. So that's not even wanting to do anything for your own selfish gain, um, is just acting selflessly and doing what you enjoy doing and expressing your truth, but not trying to win out over others naturally just wanting the best for all beings, wanting every being to be happy, wanting every being to be free, working towards the betterment of all that is, interdependence, selflessness. By God's grace, thank you.
The mind is at peace. The spirit is tranquil. Only the aloof person who consistently remains upright can tread the path happily, forgetful of the years. So the aloof person, aloof is like a disconnected person, right? But, so you can exist as if you are, they say, in the world, but not of the world. Moving through life aloof or disconnected, but also truly integrated and connected. I guess the practice of it is to remain consistently upright, which is basically tr doing your best to do what you know is right and correct and honest and true. And then you can tread happily without any worry, so to speak, and forgetful of the years, meaning you forget, you don't care about the past, you don't care about the future necessarily, you're just present because you know that the past was, <clears throat> those were infinite patterns of harmony according to your will in interdependence with God's will, the greater will of all beings. And uh, your future will work itself out in alignment with infinite patterns of harmony. And you're surrendered to the will of all that is, which is God, the galactic organizing dynamic, the will of the people, the will of all that is. We're not alone, we're together with one another. Let's go back and kind of visit the affirmation for today. And again, this is the initiating kin of the informing of the first time cell. So these next four days will follow that, uh, this harmonic and we'll revisit those I Ching passages for the next four days as we go from the dragon to the seed. So today, Kin 61, Ren Solar Dragon, I pulse in order to nurture, realizing being, I seal the input of birth. With a solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of na navigation. So yeah, that's pulsing, the pulse of love, in order to nurture. So nurturing yourself and one another, acting with love, realizing being, that's really truly realizing the beingness of everlasting happiness, that eternal state of being within yourself. Sealing the input of birth, Again, it's initiation. We're starting something. And the solar tone of intention, having that positive intention uh, guiding you, that purpose. That goes back to that first line, having that purpose guiding you. I am guided by the power of navigation, which is the earth. That is the guidance of synchronicity. That is navigation through the evolution of synchronicity. And that's what we're all experiencing in the matrix is the unfolding synchronicity of all that is. So we will finish for today with that. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of you. Thank you all the way showers. Thank you Roots to Crown. Thank you all beings that have put this together. Thank you every being in all realms because we're all in it together, dancing through the dance of life. Thank you, God. And uh, may all of you have a magical day in the miracle. I bring sky fire vision through a heart. Brave enough to love We unify all the vision in our science and religion When you're um and the dragon all is one Unify all the vision in our science and religion When you're um and the dragon all is one Unify all the 